In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Android-based phone with the Pioneer SmartSync app and connect to your Pioneer in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may be a 1DIN model or a 2DIN model and may or may not have a built-in CD player, the button operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Audio in-dash receiver models, MVHS 320BT and 322BT. MVHS 420BT, MVHS 522BS, MVHS 620BS and 622BS, MVHS 720BHS, DEHS 4200BT and 4220BT, DEHS 5200BT, DEHS 6200BS and 6220BS, DEHS 7200BHS. FHS 520BT, FHS 720BS and 722BS. What software do I need to make the Pioneer SmartSync app work on my in-dash receiver? Let's start with the in-dash receiver. Go to pioneerelectronics.com and download and install the latest firmware update for your particular in-dash receiver. Your Android phone will need version 5.0 or higher of the Android operating system. Go to the Google Play Store and search for Pioneer Smart Sync. Look for this icon in the store. Smart Sync is a free app from Pioneer. Download and install the Pioneer Smart Sync app on your phone. So before we get started with this, I want you to know that I have the in-dash receiver and the phone connected through Bluetooth, right? So I can see the Bluetooth logo lit up in blue right here. And if I touch the telephone button, I can see that it's the Pixel 2 that is the actively connected phone. That's this phone over here. Uh, so we are all set up. Now, if you don't know how to connect your phone through Bluetooth, please check the description below the video right here. And you can find a link to how to connect your Android phone to the in-dash receiver through Bluetooth. That's the first step. Have your phone connected through Bluetooth. Next up, we need to change a setting on the in-dash receiver and make sure we're all set, uh, set up and ready to go here. So from any source, I'm going to press in on the volume control here. And I want to go until I find the turn until I find the system menu. There's system. And we want to roll along here until we find app control. Let's see, there we go, there's app control. So inside app control, I have two possible settings. I have a wired setting and I have a Bluetooth setting. So for an Android phone, I strongly, strongly recommend to you to use the Bluetooth setting. Some Android phones will work with a wired connection. Almost all of them will work with the Bluetooth connection. So I strongly recommend to use the Bluetooth connection. We'll press in on the volume control to confirm. Now I already have the Pioneer Smart Sync app installed on my phone, and you can see it didn't take much to do that as soon as it knew to connect through uh, Bluetooth. The connection was done. We'll, we'll press OK, and you can see that the Smart Sync app is connected, and I know the app is connected when I see the app uh, indicator pop up on the screen right here. Now here are one or two other settings that I think are important. So from app control, let's roll forward here until we find app auto connect. I think this is a good one to have. If you want the app to automatically connect, you can switch this on. You can also choose to have it switch off so you can force the app connection if you want to. Uh, for right now, I'm going to keep the auto connect on the app on and we'll confirm that. When you're done making your adjustments, you can hit the arrow back to escape. Now you can see in this case, uh, I have my phone over here connected through Bluetooth, but the Pioneer SmartSync app is not connected. So I'm going to force the connection. Uh, I want the two to connect. So I'm going to start the SmartSync app on my phone. And you can see again, the connection didn't automatically happen. So we're going to force the connection. So I'm just going to press and hold the volume control for a few seconds. And that will create the connection between the in-dash receiver and the phone. And we'll say OK to our caution screen. 